you are told the column totals and a trial balance are not equal. After careful analysis, you discover only one error. Specifically, a correctly journalized credit purchase of a computer for $11,250 is posted from the journal to the ledger with a $11,250 debit to office equipment and another $11,250 debit to accounts payable. So the problem is we have two debits. We don't have equal matching debits and credits. The office equipment account has a debit balance of 26,663 on the trial balance, which means <clears throat> that that number, 26,663, includes the purchase, uh, this last purchase of 11,250. So here's a trial balance that I've put some numbers on just to make this a more concrete example. Uh, the equipment account on a trial balance before this transaction up here was a 15,005, excuse me, 15,413. Uh, we have to assume that accounts payable uh, is 11,250, and I'll talk about that more in just a second. And just to make this one balance, I, I just plugged it with a capital account of 4163 to make both sides be 15,413. Now, I got this equipment a balance of 15,413 by taking the uh, trial balance number of 26,63 and taking out this equipment purchase, 11,250. So before this equipment purchase, the office equipment account had in it 15,413. Uh, this entry uh, was made incorrectly. It was a debit to office equipment for 11,250 and another debit to accounts payable for 250. So if you took this entry and combined it with this trial balance before, you'd end up with this. Office equipment 26,663, accounts payable zero, because uh, that uh, would uh, wipe that balance out to zero with that debit. And then this uh, capital account would have 4163, and you can see you're, you're out of balance. The debit side has 26663, the credit side has 4163. The correct way to do this entry <coughs> would have been to uh, debit office equipment for 11250 and credit accounts payable for 250, and then it would have shown up like this on a correct trial balance. Office equipment would have been 2663. Accounts payable would have been the original 11,250 plus another 11,250 over here, right there, and that would have been a balance, a credit balance of 22,500, and the capital owner's capital would have been 41,63, and both sides would have balanced with a balance of 26,663. So now, <clears throat> let me make sh make sure I let you know that on this first one here, uh, and there's a difference there. We can see the difference between the debit and the credit side of, of uh, $22,500. And it's, this is the only part of this problem that could be an, a wrong answer. It says the debit column total of the trial balance, that is this debit column total right here, uh, this one, we're going to work with this one, consuming this one never happened. But this is one we're going to work with. Uh, the debit column total of the trial balance, the account status on that is correctly stated. And there, that is, it should have been 2663 right down here, and it really was 2663. Um, and therefore, the amount that we're uh, out is zero. Now, this is only true, part A, and that's where we have a little flaw in this problem. This is only true if you assumed that there was enough of a balance in accounts payable on the correct side to absorb this, to absorb this, uh, this. Uh, error. If there wasn't, then you'd have a debit balance in accounts payable uh, down here, and it would throw this off, throw this thing off. So that's what I'm assuming, that there was enough of a credit balance in this account, uh, accounts payable account, so that when this incorrect entry is made, there was still a little bit of a credit balance or even a zero left in here. If you don't make that assumption, then the first answer is, uh, this correctly stated, is not right. Go to Part B. Part B, they want to know the credit column total of the trial balance. What's the status of that? So 
the account status is it's understated. It's 41.63 and it ought to be 26.663, so it's understated by 22,000 by 22,500. Part C, uh, they want to know, let's see, the balance of the equipment account and the trial balance, uh, the status that it would be, it's correctly stated and there's nothing out. Uh, out on that. You see, uh, all, even on this correct tri incorrect trial balance, the equipment account is correctly stated at 2663 because we just took the 15413 and added to it that that latest purchase. And so you can see on the even on the correct one, it's it's they both match. Part D, the balance of the account's payable account in the trial balance. The account status there is it's understated. You see, the account's payable balance in this incorrect trial balance is zero, and it really should be 22500 assuming we had enough of a balance to absorb that incorrect entry. And uh, therefore, its amount out is 22500 And now we go to part two of this problem. Part two, if the debit column of the trial balance is 236250 before correcting the error, that is, if it was 26, 236, 250 before we corrected this error, what is the total of the credit uh, column before the correction? Well, it doesn't really matter what this total debit is because no matter what it is, if there was only one error and that was the error up here, then there's going to be a difference, a difference of $22,500 uh, $22, no matter what the totals were on the bottom here. So. The total of the credit column is uh, 213750 and that is simply just taking whatever they told us the credit the debit side was subtracting off $22,500 which was that difference that, between here and here and the uh, if this 236250 was up here then this number would have been 213750